guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a big old fashion haul. I buy clothes throughout the whole year but it tends to be around this time of year like autumn winter time that I really do go out and buy clothes and refresh my wardrobe because it just gets cold and there's nothing like new clothes to combat the cold. Am I right? Anyway I'm going to start off with shoes actually because I feel like they're down on the floor go figure um i feel like if i don't mention them first i'm gonna forget them so these are from zara and these are beautiful i don't want to like hold the bottoms because and i'll hold one they have this really cool zip detailing on the back you might think that this bit at the back would be really annoying to walk in but honestly you don't really notice it all that much like when you're walking it doesn't do too much of that it just hangs and looks cute. I really also like the shape of the heel, how it sort of like kind of like goes out at the bottom. They're not disgustingly uncomfortable like a stiletto, um, but they're not my most comfortable boots either, just to point that out. But I also think that part of that is because they need to be worn in a bit. I've only worn them a couple of times, but yes, these are like my winter boots. Look at the heel. Ah, oh, I love it. They really remind me of uh, Williams Wish Wellingtons, if you ever watched that. Nonetheless, I think they're the really cool statement boot. And whilst we're talking about statement outerwear, I might as well move on to this jacket that I got from Mango. This is, oh my God, I love this jacket so much. Um, this is a sort of moto style leopard print jacket and it's not velvet. Like I absolutely hate the feel velvet so I wouldn't be like I wouldn't wear it if um, I don't like the feel of it. Without touching it it's a really hard fabric to discuss but it's super duper soft and I think why I like it is because it is definitely like that animal fur coat trend without it being a fur coat. I just find those you look too much like Pat Butcher and they just make you look huge whereas this is still like that nice moto style which I wear all year round um, but it also is like a nod to that trend and I wear leopard print all year round anyway but um, yes this jacket is oh, to die for and the hardware on it is black it's just it's fantastic I would 10 out of 10 recommend this jacket and also this jacket is really well made like I thought I was gonna have to go out and buy like a winter coat as well but actually so far this has kind of been doing me pretty well um because it's like lined and it's thick like it's got it's just this jacket's just it's just beautiful it is just look at it just fucking look at it Ah, I love it. I love it. Anyway, I might as well stick along the accessory line because I've also bought myself a new bag. This is from uh, Rebecca Minkoff and I got this on the Outnet. The Outnet is uh, Netta Porte's sort of um, outlet site. Get it? Outlet? Outnet? It's clever, isn't it? Anyway, so I got this Rebecca Minkoff bag. Remember them? They were a blast from the past. Um, I didn't want to get like the mini Mac bags or anything, although they do have some of those on there if you wanted to go grab one. And they also have like, a bunch of their like summer colours and stuff, like a lot of pastel colours so if you like pastels you should go have a little look um this was 150 pounds you know which isn't cheap but it's certainly not thousands of pounds either this was my christmas present to myself but yeah it's got a uh, silver hardware which is my preference and it's got like these dangly bits on it but it's just easy to wear will go with absolutely everything and i'm gonna have this for years it's a really nice size um it fits a mini ipad in it if you want to know sort of roughly how it works and it's got these two zips which open up into the same pocket the one thing that is a bit annoying is this doesn't sort of like move so you've got to kind of like wedge your stuff in there but i love it and yes i'm so glad that i got this bag i've been loving it but yes 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 that's a good one anyway let's move on to some actual clothes i mean i suppose those are clothes but you know what i mean i'm going to start with forever 21 now both of these items before i sort of mention them they have both been worn but also they're both very prone to creasing which is something i think to note if you like the look of these um they're definitely both items that even if you like wear them for like 30 minutes they're gonna have creases in so you're just gonna have to deal with that um anyway so this first of all is a long sleeved jumper as you can see like this is mad creased look at that and that's just from it being admittedly this has been in a bag i think forever 21 in the uk is really like underground like unsung hero like i love going on their website because their stuff is so affordable anyway so this is sort of like the top of it it's like this nice embroidery and um you could either wear like a nude bra and it's fine or even a black bra if you wanted or whatever and then it comes down into these sleeves which are like like nice little sort of, they're not bell sleeves but they've got like this definite flare on the end i just think this is a really nice top and although it's creased at the moment it does come down sort of like standard top length i just think you can wear this with so many things like you can tuck it into jeans or like into a skirt i'll show you the skirt that i wear this with it's definitely a dresser upper or a dresser downer and yes i'm glad that i bought this and the other thing that i bought from forever 21 was this skirt again a creaser this is a creaser like as soon as you sit down 
it's gonna crease. I actually wore this out last night. This was 13 pounds and it has pockets. It's great. If you're stumpy shot like I am, it's sort of like a midi length um, and it works, but I would definitely wear, not like heeled shoes, but something with a little bit of a platform. Um, I wouldn't wear this with trainers because it, it sort of cuts me off weirdly, but if I wear sort of something with like a slight heel, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is from their contemporary line and I got this in a medium and I'm like a size 10 slash 12 usually depending and I kind of wish I got this in a small because it has got elastic at the back um so I do find myself having to pull it up a little bit I'm being really negative about this skirt but I actually really love it do these buttons actually work yes they do you could undo this button all the way up if you wanted so I have been loving this skirt on camera at the moment it's sort of coming up not as dark green as it is. It's definitely like a green sort of khaki colour. And yeah, I also love wearing this with like band t-shirts or like graphic tees and with like nice shoes. I feel like this is gonna be a skirt that I'm gonna wear a lot. Um, but yeah, I just wish it didn't crease as much. But yeah, anyway, woo. Actually, let's make a little pit stop. Um, this top I have recently bought, it's from H&M. There's always gonna be a striped t-shirt or something striped in one of my clothing hauls. Um, and I got it because this is different. Like the neckline is different to something that I have before and it's red and it was like six pounds. I went shopping with my friend and she literally just like, she was joking, but ended up not being a joke. We just like pull out striped t-shirts. She'd be like, this one's for you, this one's for you. And then she pulled this one out. She was like, this one's for you. And I was just like, yes it is, there we go. H&M, you've got a sale. Um, but yeah, they're, they're doing a bunch of different striped t-shirts at H&M for actually really affordable prices. So yeah, anyway, had to have a striped t-shirt in there. But yeah, let's move back to Zara. Um, I have got a couple things from Zara. You will see a little bit of a pattern here. I am definitely feeling the embroidery red flower trend. And this is a mini skirt that I have gotten from Zara. Again, I don't think it was all that expensive. And this is definitely a piece does it have pockets it doesn't have pockets this is definitely something that i am going to be wearing all year round but i think particularly it's going to look really nice with like jumpers and stuff um and also just like if you have like plain tops or whatever you can just wear that and then just bang this on the bottom and it's a little something fun um it's also got patterns on the back it's both it's on both sides if you were wondering but yeah i haven't actually worn this out yet but i think or like if you've got like a bunch of bodies, like you know there's those bodies with the um, roll necks, I think this would look super nice with that and super slimming. With a nice pair of boots. Ooh, I can see it. I can see the outfit now. Anyway, there's that. Also from Zara, this is, this we're gonna quickly stop off at. This is 13 pounds again. It's like this sort of, speaking of roll necks, it's sort of this like roll neck sort of, I don't wanna say jumper dress, but this is definitely like a thicker like sweater material. Definitely something I can see me wearing with those red boots or that, leopard print jacket like if you've got like a couple loud accessories and you just want like a simple outfit underneath or something to dress up or down this as i said 13 pounds so is actually a really nice quality um it's not too short but it is like a mini sort of uh dress and yeah i this is something um that i can see myself dressing up all the time and being like a nice staple everybody needs a little black dress and in like a million different shapes and cuts don't they Yes, because I've got another mini black dress coming up in a sec. My last item from Zara is this top here. Um, there is no underneath to it. It is just this lace top. Um, and this, again, Zara. I have been into Zara like a couple of times recently and they have been absolutely killing it. Um, a lot of their stuff is fantastic at the moment. Anyway, so this has sort of got like eyelet. It's almost, again, like a roll neck, um, how high that like, this eyelet lace detailing comes up the neck. And um, it's sort of like, slightly cropped top and it's again it's got the eyelet detail down the bottom and it's sort of this lace and it's also got I don't know if you can see it it also comes in a burgundy and a green um where you'll be able to see it more but it's also got this like rope detail like how you can sort of see it there we go and that like sort of also got this like uh sort of almost um, embroidery with rope over the top as well. But yeah, so this is something that is really I think versatile. I actually wore this out for my work Christmas do and I just wore underneath a black t-shirt bra, like a full bra, so nothing was ever gonna fall out. But um, I don't think, and it worked, but obviously you could wear like a tank top underneath it or like a bandeau or something if you didn't fancy walking around in a see through top with a bra. Um, this could also work really nice. Or if you have like a dress, this can go over the top of it. Um, yeah, I just think, again, something that I think is gonna be very versatile and yeah, it really wasn't that expensive either. So I'm happy with my Zara purchases recently. Oh, I didn't know if I was gonna put this in or not, but I thought, why not? Um, I actually bought a band t-shirt. This is a Panic at the Disco band t-shirt. Um, Again, this is fresh out the wash, so it's a bit creased. But um, again, I'm loving this sort of red ribbing and 
I just think it's a bit of fun. Um, I've got some like light denim jeans that I think this will go really nice with. Um, I can look. I can like rock those that certainly shows vibe but yeah I just really like this I saw this when I went to see them for the fourth time and I was like yes actually you know what I quite like that so I thought I'd pop that in because I do actually buy quite a lot of band t-shirts and yeah I just think this one um because of the sort of ribbing detailing it's a little bit more dressy than your standard I mean it's not that much more dressy but it's a little bit more like actual t-shirt as opposed to band t-shirt vibes but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I've also got one thing from Urban Outfitters. I feel like with a lot of shops, they've been pretty uh, lackluster when we're sort of that interim season. But recently, the past couple of weeks, when it's really been like full on autumn winter clothing, I've been loving it. And Urban Outfitters is another shop that I think have been killing it recently. And I've actually bought this, which, okay, see, there has definitely been a theme with these clothes. Um, this is uh, another sort of netting, see through, over the top, crop top long sleeve flower embroidered top it's um yes i i think this is probably one of my favorite things out of the um whole thing i'm actually gonna pop a picture here of me wearing the green skirt and this which i thought worked really well together this is actually quite expensive i think this is like 40 pounds but it's really well done good quality and i can understand with like the amount of embroidery that's on it um why it's so much i can see me wearing this with so much stuff and this is just one of those things that I think it's gonna be in my wardrobe for a very long time and yeah so I'm happy with my purchase I think this is awesome actually and last but not least I have got some stuff from Disturbia clothing um, this is actually the first time I bought anything from there and so far I've been loving this and the reason that I went on was for this top again this has just been out the wash Kane I know it needs a bit of an iron anyway it says Monday morning on it which you know it's about morning like somebody's died how punny is that um, but it's like this cropped baggy t-shirt with this sort of eyelet lace detailing i i realize i have bought like six of the same top but in varying differences but this is actually quite different because it's like a t-shirt but with lace on it and i think this is actually really cool we'll go really nice with some high-waisted jeans or like a high-waisted skirt and it's like smart casual to the max and it's it's a little emo and yes I really do like this top actually and then I also bought this dress from them which I haven't worn yet and I'm like I'm not it's not that I'm in two minds about it I just I haven't found uh, the occasion that I've wanted to wear this it's like a little like Wednesday Adams dress it's like it's got this detailing around the top collar this sort of pleating and then it's got like these buttons down the side and then it's a flowy skirt and it has like these the buttons i've got like crescent moons on anyway i just think this was super duper cute um and again as i said i haven't found a, an occasion to wear it to but i tend to wear these type of sort of like mini dresses all the time so i'm sure i will wear that soon anyway thank you so much for watching this big old clothing haul of mine uh let me know what your favorite item was down below i'd love to hear from you anyway thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye Thank <laughs> you.